Hello everyone and welcome to my latest movie review where today I review the original Space Jam, released in 1996 and directed by Joe Pitka? Have I said that right? Or Pitka? I, I don't know. This movie stars the Looney Tunes and Michael Jordan. Okay, so I recently reviewed, or well, ranted, on the sequel to this movie which came out recently, Space Jam A New Legacy. It's terrible, don't go and see it. So I decided to review the first one. Normally, I, if I'd have had the time, I would have actually got to rent this movie first and then saw the sequel, but uh, sadly that couldn't happen, so I'm having to review them out of order, but oh well, <laughs> at least I'm reviewing them. So the plot of this film is as follows. In a desperate attempt to win a basketball match and earn their freedom, the Looney Tunes seek the aid of the retired basketball champion Michael Jordan. So yeah, pretty much both Space Jam movies have the exact same plot, in a different sort of way. So, Space Jam. This movie is very popular. I mean, certainly if you were born in the 90s, like I was, it's a very popular movie. I was born a year after this film came out, so I didn't see it when it was first released, and I don't remember ever watching it when I was a kid on VHS or DVD or, or TV or whatever. So watching it now for the first time, at least, well, at least the first time in a long time, I think I saw this movie years ago, but I, I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Looking at the movie now, I think it's alright, but I don't think it's anything amazing. I kind of agree with my friend Harry Thomas Pictures that this movie, whilst it might be nostalgic to some, it's not nostalgic to everyone. I think it is definitely better than the sequel that follows it. Absolutely way better than the sequel that follows it. I would describe Space Jam as kind of a, a fun time for kids. I think kids who are very, very young and love the Looney Tunes will probably enjoy this film because there's a lot more of the Looney Tunes in this one than there is in the sequel. And the movie's certainly entertaining on a sort of humorous level. I, I laughed a few more times than I did in the second film. I just feel like there's not much of a story. Kind of like the second one. There isn't too much of a story, but at least this one doesn't doesn't have as much corporate pandering as the sequel does. Okay, there's one moment when Daffy Duck actually kisses his own ass with the Warner Brothers logo on it. I'll let you have that, but any more. Weigel says I think the animation for the Looney Tunes is, is great, and surprisingly they blend better here than they do in the sequel, and I think that they're much more animated here, and they get a lot more to do, and the humour is much better. There's a couple of um, great moments, particularly with Bugs Bunny and, and Daffy Duck, and we have, and all of them get, all of them get a bit more to do. I mean, some of them are obviously just there as cameos, but um, they get a lot more to do than the sequel. They all have lines that you know you have Bugs, Daffy, Granny, Sylvester, Tweety, Coyote, Roadrunner, Taz, Tweety, Speedy Gonzales. There's 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 loads. Of, I mean, the majority of the Looney Tunes are in this movie, and they are great. It's great to see them. On the flip side, I didn't care about the human characters. I thought the human characters were kind of pointless, really. I mean, Michael Jordan, he's better than LeBron James was in the sequel, but still, Michael Jordan, he's not an actor. He's he's just playing himself, and he doesn't have a huge amount of personality, and I don't think his character really sort of worked in a dynamic with the Looney Tunes. I kind of felt like they were very mismatched. Uh, yeah, I, know, I know he's not supposed to be loony like them, but still, like... He just came across a little bit wooden, a bit sort of stiff. I, I don't know, he didn't really emote that much, uh, which wasn't really good for this film. I think, you know, it, it would have been better maybe to have an actor playing Michael Jordan rather than the actual Michael Jordan, because, I don't know, uh, it just didn't really work for me. We do have a particularly funny cameo from Bill Murray. Bill Murray's appearance is, is pretty good, and <laughs> Liney says at the end it's quite funny. I think the best of the human cast is honestly Wayne Knight, who plays a character called Stan, who is like a personal assistant to Michael Jordan. He basically, you know, kisses his ass. <laughs> Let's just say that. And Stan is kind of amusing. He's kind of joyful. You know, he's he's a fun character. There's a there's a joke when he sort of keeps digging <laughs> the ground in the golf course to find Michael Jordan, because Michael Jordan gets sucked into the ground and into Looney Tunes world, and yeah... There's some good jokes here. Some of them go on for quite a while, but others are pretty good. For me, Space Jam, it, it was just kind of boring. I, I didn't really... I, I couldn't get into it, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, like I said, parts of it are fun, but I don't think that overall the movie was that impressive to me, other than the animation. The story, again, it's, just, it's a competition. Much like the second one, it's just about them trying to play basketball and then win the game. It's 
kind of obvious how the movie's going to end. And the fact that they're playing against these aliens, I mean, the aliens are kind of amusing. I'll, I'll give it that. Like when you, they're very tiny little things at first, and then they increase their size, and then they they become the mons, the mon stars or whatever that whatever the team's name is. So there's some nice jokes with the aliens, and I think they're kind of cool. I mean, it is weird, it is zany, it's it's random, but uh, it could only work for something like the Looney Tunes. And I think if Danny DeVito was like the head of the aliens. Uh, He's, he should have done a bit more, actually. I would have liked him to to be in the film a bit more. But I noticed how the sequel actually copied a lot of things from this film. How the way they the game finishes with them jumping up and in slow motion and throwing the ball in. And also the Bugs and Lola scenes. Um, certainly when Bugs nearly dies. Speaking of Lola, actually. In this film, Lola's design, uh, her character drawing is very... Very provocative, quite revealing. For somebody who is maybe like a mid-teenager or someone who's an adult, it's not as much of a problem. But because this film is made for kids, it's a little bit it's it's a little bit too revealing, and I think it's a bit too provocative. And it just kind of sends out the wrong message to young girls who watch this film, you know, about how they how they should look. And it's it, it's just one of those things that really just it's 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 inappropriate to me. I would have liked the uh design to be changed. I mean, thankfully in the sequel they did change the design and Lola in this film she's not really as good as she is in the second one that's the one thing the second film has over this is that Lola Lola Bunny um does have a bit more character in the second one in this one she's just she's just all kind of like oh she's all dreamy and she's just in love with bugs and she doesn't have any personality whatsoever and you know yeah <laughs> I didn't really care for her in this film to be honest like I said I think the pace of the film drags quite a bit although at least they don't focus on the basketball game as much as the sequel does. And it is fun to see the Looney Tunes back on screen. And the animation is 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 great. The movie's entertaining. I just think the story is really lacking. I think there should have been more depth to the story. And honestly Lola's design should have been changed. There's a lot of problems with this movie. And I didn't care about the human characters all that much. But you know. I can see why kids might might enjoy this. To me it's a little bit mediocre. But it's not awful. Like there are parts to enjoy. In here, certainly, uh, <laughs> certainly the game is enjoyable, and some of the humour is enjoyable, and it is way better than the sequel. So to come up with a final rating for this movie, I guess I'll probably give it. I'll I'll be generous. I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a six out of ten. Everybody get up! It's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll pass it off. But I don't think I'll watch it again. It's not really a film that uh, I intend to revisit. Certainly not the sequel. So anyway, that's my review of Space Jam. Thank you very much for watching this review. And stay tuned next time when I review Looney Tunes back in action. So until then, I'm Mr. Tardis11. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.